Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Imogen 10 in the building. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you so much. Before we get started, if you kindly could properly introduce yourself, let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Plug and promote anything and everything. Hey, so I'm uh, Brandon. I'm the guitarist and founder of Image Intent. Um, right now, I'm currently in Las Vegas. I'm from Salt Lake, but we have our very first show in las vegas this weekend saturday march 4th and so i'm down here just doing rehearsals and stuff with the rest of the band first show ever yeah debut show how nervous are you dude well this is actually my first like performance with a full band um at all like in my life so i've been a little nervous but honestly like with the amount of work we've been putting into everything I, i'm pretty confident so you guys be ready. Well. You'll be ready for sure. Yeah. Uh, shout out all the social media links so everybody knows where to follow you guys. Yeah, so everything is just at image intent. Um, I know our band name has a slash in it, but no social media likes us to put that. So it's just uh, the band name without the slash. Hell yeah. Dude, thank you for joining. What what made you move from, from Salt Lake to Vegas or you're just visiting there to for practice reasons? So me and the bass player both live in Salt Lake, and then the rest of the band lives in Las Vegas. How'd you guys meet? So I recorded our first song that's on Spotify. It's an instrumental called Solstice. Um, and I did that with a drummer. His name's Brian Medeiros. And he put me in touch with a guy named Nick, who he was in a band with, to record some songs. And this was before I had found um, a vocalist or a drummer like a permanent drummer or anything. Um, and so Nick actually knew Omar, who's now our vocalist, and he put us in touch. And then Omar had the rest of the the band kind of standing by for a project that he was already kind of trying to start with them. So it all just worked out. So then a super group was formed, essentially, which is awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hell yeah. So uh, this is interesting that you've never played a show before. So. Uh, I kind of remember my first time ever playing a show. I don't remember where it was, but I remember, dude, I was one, I'm one of those people that like 80% of the time I would perform, I would throw up every single time, like 10 minutes before we go on stage. Do you feel oh, like the nerves are going to hit you like that? And I don't know. I guess you we'll know, just start with that. It's uh, honestly, like I grew up just always with an acoustic guitar and I used to play like open mic nights at coffee shops and everything. And so it's been a while since I've done anything like this, but I feel like I'm going to be pretty nervous right before. But as soon as I get out there, I'm they just I'm go sure out the window. Fine. They just go yeah. right out the window. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Ryan Gosling movie? Uh, Blade Runner twenty forty nine and and the Nice Guys. Depending on which mood I'm in, um, Nice Guys is totally underrated. Him and Russell Crowe are fucking hilarious together. Why Why did you guys go with uh, his name as the title of the song? <laughs> Which I, I think actually really helps as far as like click value for for social media stuff. Like people were like, "What Ryan Gosling? That's weird." Let me, I gotta see. You know what I mean? But that that's really uh, smart. But why why that? So it started out as just the demo name, and so since I'm a guitarist and I wasn't doing any of the vocals, I had written the instrumentals for this song before I had Omar as a vocalist, and so I would just give all of my song ideas kind of random names and when i wrote ryan gosling i was watching blade runner 2049 um kind of as i was working on it so i was like i'm just gonna call it ryan gosling because that's the that's the mood and yeah. then as we kind of got going it was exactly that like clickbait kind of like social media grabbing um i think it'd be a good thing for our first song to kind of get some attention on us and so it stuck if you recall what was the demo name for just face it was it something kind of kind of <laughs> funny also? So, so that one has the fax tone at the beginning, and so its demo name was Fax Me Daddy. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I do want to jam us. We did jam Ryan Gosling right before you got on here. And uh, I do. Awesome. Is Did you guys have a, a new song coming out today? Uh, is, next is, Thursday. Next Thursday. On the 9th. Is it on your YouTube channel or is it on uh, like a uh, BBTV or something like that? Oh, so the music video we were going to do for uh, Just Face It, that 
I'm hoping is going to be out on Friday, and it's just going to be on our YouTube channel. Um, so that'll be in the next week, hopefully. It's just getting the final editing done right now. Hell yeah. And I was told that you were prepped about the hot sauce. I was prepped that I should have hot sauce. Okay. And uh, since I'm, I'm staying at my vocalist house, all that was available at last minute was some uh, Del Taco hot sauce packets. So that's what I've got. We'll work with what we got. Before we do the trivia, I need to know what movie or TV show have you seen the most? Or if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, your pick, you will not get stumped. Oh, man. Probably Futurama. Okay. Give me a couple minutes. We're hanging out with Image and 10. If you guys are feeling the music we're about to play, please support them. Hit the follow button. This is Just Face It. My friend, the goal is to stump you. Now, you picked... I let you pick the TV show. But you okay. went you went the hard route. I think a movie route's easier because the movie is a two-hour film. TV show is essentially like a month of binging. I can pick any episode that was your call. In Futurama. Right. There's an episode called Xmas Story. What does Fry buy Layla for Christmas? In Christmas Story, aka Xmas Story. What gift did he buy her? This is a parrot. Damn it! That is correct! <laughs> Damn it! So now I have to do the hot sauce while we continue while we continue the interview. I'm gonna find a, another <laughs> This is cowboy bacon. I promise you there's no bacon whatsoever flavor. It's from Argentina and it's quite hot. It's probably my fifth or sixth hottest out of like 25, I would say. Fairly spicy. What would you say is the the goals for the band for the remainder of 2023? Like, what would you guys like to accomplish? So we have kind of a goal set right now where we want to put a song out every six weeks for the next foreseeable future. I'm hoping we can do that till the end of the year. Um, Right now, we are on track to do that for the next, like, three singles. So we're looking good. We're hoping to get in the studio soon to get some more done. And um, it's just going to be singles going forward until, I guess, there's a demand for a full-length album. Um, but just with, like, the thing is, Spotify, you can only uh, submit one song for their editorial playlist per month. And so the idea of putting out an album right now when we're trying to garner a lot of attention just didn't seem like it was really worth our, our time. Um, and that way we can kind of pick and choose the songs we want to put out um, and not have to have any sort of pressure to put like filler tracks in there. Um, yeah. And so that's, that's it. We're going to try and play a show every month and a half to two months. Um, we did submit for a uh, Blue Ridge rock fest cause they're bringing on like 20 unsigned bands. That can't be your year. first show ever. That would just, dude, you'd be, <laughs> you'd be puking left and right backstage before going. There'd be thousands. I know I got it. I'm I'm not expecting to get it at all, but it was kind of just like a eh, we'll we'll do it and see, and then uh, we if just you got, get it, I would just rush and do a random local show anywhere just to do a show real quick. So that's not your first one because there's always kinks. <laughs> like no matter how I I'm not trying to give you advice, but I feel like almost every band like per, per, is, thinks they're ready, and then something goes wrong at the live show, like the first show. So I would just make sure that let that something go wrong at a non not the Blue Ridge one. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've got the show this Saturday is our first one, and then we've got another one that's scheduled in uh, the end of May for up in Salt Lake, and then we're constantly working, trying to find... Um, we're going to do some more stuff on the West Coast and then just, like, towards Colorado and, and all that. My buddy Sean is in chat. He's in a band called Eye of the Breather. He wants to know if uh, you you know the band The Stranger Beside, Beside Me from Salt Lake. It sounds familiar, but I don't think I know the actual guys. For sure. Um, so that was going to lead me... What you One of your answers actually led me into a question. So you guys only have the three songs on here for Spotify. Is the songs that you're going to be playing live, are those the ones that are about to be the singles that you're talking about in the future? Yep. Hell yeah. That's cool. So then you can... My mouse on fire. I'm sorry. Um, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's see. Is there is there ever uh, the thought of maybe having like a guest vocalist or a, a feature on a track for, you know, just you know how that brings outside audience to like, oh, I got to listen to his part, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we we 
kind of thrown the idea around um, and we have some demo ideas that we've been working on that we've been trying to find like, oh, if we were to do that, like who would be a good fit? Because there is that featured X uh, site where you can go and actually look sure. for vocalists who will guest on there. I will say that before I found Omar, um, I was having a really hard time finding a vocalist. And so I had an idea of just writing a bunch of instrumental demos and then like getting a bunch of different like bigger artists to sing on them. And I actually had reached out to Rory from Dayseeker about doing something for Solstice, but we couldn't like make it work with his schedule and stuff. And then I found Omar. So it's been kind of on a different track, but that's something that's on my mind um, is getting someone else that might be a good guest vocalist to kind of help get some more attention. Oh yeah. So it, so it all ended up working out anyway. If, yeah. If it wasn't Rory, was there somebody else in mind, maybe also on the site that, you just didn't get there as far because you had a conversation going back and forth with Rory, but was there another like consideration? Um, yeah, I actually was a concert photographer for a little bit and I became pretty good friends with the guys in era. And I actually considered doing like a full heavy vocalist on solstice. And I was thinking about getting JT from era because we had, we had kind of talked about uh, him doing that for a minute as well. Very cool. I'm going to try this one more time regarding this future on stuff. Here we go. In Futurama, Fry receives a refund in the episode 300 Big Boys. What does he spend the refund on? 300 cups of coffee. God. 100 cups of coffee. Yeah, 300 cups of coffee. Yeah. That is <laughs> correct. <laughs> I'm going to give you a wheel spin. Damn it. Could not stump you, sir. You've definitely seen Futurama many times. So lit on a whiskey shot. This is a somewhat of a party show, so I'm gonna take a shot real quick. Oh yeah, dude. Let's say, let's say after uh, that first show that we were talking about earlier, and mm -hmm. you and the guys are like, hey, let's go get around, blah blah blah. Who is the last man standing in the band when it's when it's party time? So who can party the longest? Essentially. Definitely not me. Probably our, I would say our other guitarist, Alejandro, or maybe our vocalist, Omar. It'd be between those two for sure. Hell yeah. Well, I'm going to do this shot real quick. Whew. Do you play any video games, dude? Uh, yeah, I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy for the past couple weeks um and before that i was playing the i see the uh, slytherin in the Village. background i see the slytherin in the background yeah, this right is, there this is my uh vocalist girlfriend's room she's got it all harry pottered out in here it's nice <laughs> hell yeah so everybody's getting along while you're playing that game for sure uh let's yeah. see just toss out like the three best video games ever made oh man um ever made that's hard i think my favorite video games it was probably oblivion was like my first real like addiction on video games i spent way too much time on that one skyrim for and me then, but similar obviously yeah <laughs> um mortal kombat 2 for sure and then any honestly any of the uncharted series is really one of my favorites too i, I play that whole series over and over it's really good hell yeah i only have uh one last question for you sir and then we'll let you go and i appreciate your time my my question is has is anybody in the music industry ever given you advice that just made you take your career a little more seriously it was an eye-opener style advice and would you be willing to share that yeah so my uh my friend brian that i mentioned earlier he's actually the drummer for the band red um and he was the drummer for the band otherwise out of Las Vegas. Um, but when I started this project, it was really a, a lot because of him kind of like giving me that push. And the thing he said to me at the beginning, which kind of ties into the band name is like, just always have a clear picture of where you want to go. And then every decision that you make should have the intention of getting there. And so like really just staying focused on what your end goal is and trying to make decisions that are going to help you get there and not get distracted or I guess like, don't let yourself get shut down by road roadblocks. Just keep keep going, and as long as you have that intention, it's gonna it's gonna end up where you want to go. I like it. That is sound advice for sure. 
Dude, you're awesome. I can't believe I didn't stump you, but you've definitely seen Futurama many a time. <laughs> we look forward to, to the singles. You said every six weeks? Yep, next one's coming out uh, next Excellent. Thursday. That is awesome. And then possibly the video on Friday for possibly, Just Face yeah, It. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping too. That'll be awesome if we could spin it on Friday when we're doing the show. Dude, you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much. Safe travels. Kill it on the first show. If you got a hurl, just do it, dude, and then just go rock out with your <laughs> cock out. You know what's up, but cheers, man. I appreciate it. Have a fantastic hey, day. Thanks for having me. Image and tech! Give me a hell yeah!